Yes, even chiropractors get injured, especially through silly mistakes. Let me tell you what I did. Um, so about a week ago, um, I thought I'd pick up the weights again. I haven't been uh, doing weights that much recently. And the first session, I went quite light, quite sensible, going through the motions, kind of reminding the body what to do. That was all great. In the second session, I thought, oh, that was all right. I was feeling quite strong. I'll put the weights up a bit more and I really pushed it. And at the time, I got a little bit of a niggle in my shoulder. And as you know, I would give the advice never to do, um, I thought, nah, I'll be all right. Ah, ah, I'll be all right. I'll just be careful with my form and it'll be all right. And it was kind of okay at the time. And then the next day it was really sore. And the next day I couldn't really lift my arm very high. And it's a bit embarrassing because, you know, I should know better, frankly. Um, so let me tell you what I'm doing to fix my shoulder. First of all, it's a, it's a, a biceps um, uh, strain in here at the top of the, uh, the tendon, which means I can't lift my arm very high without it hurting like that. I can still do certain movements, I can still work, thankfully, that's okay, but I'm having to adapt to what I'm doing quite a lot. And I wanted to talk about this because this is a common thing that we see people doing when they get back into exercise or when they're starting something and you get quite enthusiastic. And it can either go one or two ways. So some people decide to plow on and keep going through the pain and you don't want to do that and I'll explain why in a second. And some people go the other way and they just back off entirely and they stop doing everything. And you don't have to do that. First of all, don't plow through the pain, especially if it's a joint problem, because what you're doing is, if you've got an inflamed tendon and you just keep pushing through where you get this kind of pinching pain, what you're doing is aggravating that tendon more. And what happens is the tendon gets more and more inflamed and after a while it can get thicker and then it become a, uh, becomes a, co a chronic problem. So something that just gonna, is gonna stay around for a while and it's gonna be harder to get better and it's more likely to come back. So you don't wanna keep plowing through the pain. Having said that, you don't need to necessarily back off entirely, and that depends on, on obviously what's happened, but almost any injury you can still work through, you can still do exercises, you just have to adapt it and modify it. So what I'm doing is, <clears throat> first of all, listen to the body. So like I've just said, you know, don't plow through it, listen to it, respect it. It's telling you that certain movements it's not happy with for the time being, so listen to that. Secondly, ice, of course, the, you know, the basic advice we give to everybody, get a cold pack and stick it on there because it reduces the inflammation enough to help it settle and to kind of break that cycle of it getting aggravated with everything you do every time you get something out of a cupboard or something like that. Um, I got adjusted, which helped a lot. And um, if you've heard me in my other videos talk about muscle inhibition, I won't go into it too much in this video, but this is a big part of why these things happen in the first place. Certain muscles can be inhibited, meaning they're just not firing correctly. It's not as strong as it wants to be. So I got adjusted and all of a sudden I could lift my arm. This happened at the weekend. I could lift my arm a lot higher. The pain's not gone because the inflammation's still there. So it still needs to heal. But that means at least it can function properly and it can actually get better now. And the third one is rest. But by that I mean active rest. Don't protect it too much. And that's especially important actually for shoulders because with shoulders you can get something called a disuse syndrome, which means you protect it, so you hold it close to you, you stop using it very much. If you protect it too much, it just gets stiffer. So you can end up again with chronic long-term problems with it. So you do want to use it doing day-to-day -day stuff, you just don't want to push it. So in terms of exercises, so what I'm doing now is focusing, instead of on pushing exercises, which aggravate it, focusing on pulling exercises, because I can do that completely pain-free. So that's with a cable or a band pulling it towards me, I'm doing more stuff with my legs, as long as I can hold the weight in a way that doesn't aggravate the shoulder. And I'm doing more walking as well. So like just going for a walk more at lunch times, or what I particularly enjoy at the moment is putting a weight in a rucksack and going for a walk in the woods. Um, so there's, there's lots of other things that I can do um, to allow my shoulder to rest, but still kind of get a good workout in and stay fit and maybe train other parts of the body that don't get as much attention, like the legs, for example. So I thought I'd share that with you in case you're in the same boat. You know, you're trying to get back into exercise. You might have tweaked something and you're thinking, oh no, what do I do? Do I need to stop entirely or should I keep going? So these pointers hopefully should help you. So listen to your body. Don't plow through and don't aggravate it. So don't keep doing the same movements that hurt because it won't get better. It'll take so long that you might end up with a long-term problem. But at the same time, you can still do things. Try to modify those activities. Do the other exercises. Maybe do um, work on something you haven't worked on before. 
And of course, if you've got any questions about that, if you wanna know what exercises are safe or which ones to do that aren't gonna hurt you, or which ones are gonna to help to uh, rehabilitate it as well, then um, send us a message or come in and ask us because uh, we're here to help. I hope that's helpful. If you've got any questions, just give us a shout. And big shout out to Simon King, by the way, who uh, adjusted my neck, really helped my shoulder considerably. Um, all right, thanks very much. I'll see you soon. Take care.